So hi everybody. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Thursday, May 2nd at approximately 10 15 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm coming to you today to show you um, my Garon Toten Bags Grime Guard of the Month Club. I already opened it up because I recorded this video like 10 minutes ago and I didn't like it. So I'm scrapping the video, but the package is already open. And I did open it. So here is the Garon Toten Bags Grime Guard of the Month. Yes, I did open it. I get the 11 by 11 Grime Guard. Um, and here is what it looks like. It smells amazing. There's an amazing scent that they've added to it. And this one is Fairies. This is really cute, you guys. I love this fabric. And I'm probably going to need to find the... Um, bags to go with it but there's the fairy you can see right there little fairy and there's a it's sparkly it's glitter it has stars little sparkly stars and I get the 11 by 11 Grim guard of the month so here is the Grim guard I just got it today um don't have much stitchy update to show you um those of you that are around floss tube and on any of the stitching Facebook groups know that Stitch Mania started yesterday. Um, a lot of people are doing their own thing for Stitch Mania. I really am not doing anything for Stitch Mania. Um, I don't have any plans set. I don't have anything like that. Um, the only thing that I may consider doing, um, I have an old uh, whip of mine that I'm thinking about maybe um, pulling out of my stash to work on. Um, those of you that have been around CrossFit a while know of um, Teresa Wensler. She does a lot of like dragons and fantasy type patterns. Um, her patterns are known for having many, many, many blended threads. Well, I am working, I have the fantasy triptych of hers in my stash and it's partly started. I'm on my second start of this. Um, I have kind of a backstory on it, but Anyway, on this whip of mine, I'm on the second start, and I'm nowhere near where I was when I stopped the first time and kind of pitched it. I actually threw it out and restarted. But I still have all my threads kitted, and I went through, um, when I kitted it the first time, I went through and also created baggies of all the blended threads on it, and there's a lot. So... I wasn't going to do Stitch Mania, and then I was like, well, maybe I could just be crazy and just work on the Teresa Wensler, because anybody that stitches Teresa Wenslers are kind of crazy anyway, right? And it's Mania, and why not? So I may actually decide to just pull her out and work on her for this month. Um, now, I'm probably going to do some other things, too, like the Universal Monster Cell. Um, I haven't gotten started on that yet, but I did pick my fabric. I'm going with the Splash, which is the green and purple one, um, so I can get started on that one soon, hopefully. And um, my goal on Saturday um, at the Stitch Day at my local needle workshop is to finish Hands on Design May. This is where I'm at right now today. Um, I have to finish the basket up here, do another orange butterfly, and work on this little basket sign right here. And then it'll be done, then I can fully finish it and hang it on my wall. Um, as you know, I did finish April. I never fully finished April. April never got hung up. So, I have May to finish. It'll hopefully get done now, and then I can work on something else. But I was going to work on it tonight. I'm just a little too tired for that. I think I may just kind of kit up some of my diamond painting stuff for my um, Lulu Llama diamond painting that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, but other than that, I just kind of wanted to show you everything. I'm not doing Mania um, officially because there's just so much going on. You know, I joined the School of Magical Stitches to um, kind of get some progress on some of my work, my whips. And... Uh, I haven't completed any of the homework, and I've been in the School of Magical Stitches, I think, for about three weeks, almost four weeks now. Haven't completed any of the homework. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm 
stitching. I'm just not actively stitching for the homework or anything like that. And I feel bad because, you know, I'm, I'm Hufflepuff. And I feel bad for not, like, helping my, you know, my uh, house. But what you gonna do? My life just gets in the way. Um, so, yeah, I went out and mowed my back 40 jungle tonight. I still have about a third of it to go, so I'm going to finish that this weekend. Hopefully my brother-in-law will be coming down to do the back roof on the back of the house um, this weekend. Hopefully if the weather holds. Um, and not much else is going on. My local needle workshop has a stitch-in day this Saturday for the Kentucky Derby. And it's from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So if you're local to the Columbus area, I encourage you to come on down and come sit and stitch with us. It is um, a $5 charge. You know, you can bring your lunch, bring a big hat, big floppy hat for the Kentucky Derby and sit and stitch for four hours at the Cross Stitch store. Um, I will, um, if you look them up, they're Cross My Heart Limited in Columbus, Ohio, Bethel Center, um, Kenny Center. Kenny Center. Anyway, um, you can probably just Google them, look look them up on Facebook or whatever if you're interested in coming down. Um, but the stitch 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 net or stitch in is Saturday from one to one to five. I'm looking forward to that. I haven't been to my stitching group there in a little while, so it should be kind of fun. Anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. I just wanted to show you my Garon Toten bags, Graham Guard of the Month shipment that I got in today. Um, not much else is going on. So, oh, goodness. Ah. I will leave you there, and I will um, catch you next time. And uh, hopefully have some more progress for you on some things. All right? Take care. And I know this is kind of odd, but uh, I'm feeling a little off anyway. Um, you know, yesterday was the uh, one-year anniversary of my mother-in-law dying. Um she died a year ago, May 1st. So it's been kind of a, a little bit of a rough week um, as we kind of remember both my in-laws who passed last year. And uh, it's just been kind of sad. So anyway, until next time, until I check in, I will see you soon. I'm going to enjoy my uh, the rest of my juice. All right, everybody, take care. So hi Floss Tube, this is Tina Frazier just coming to you with another little quick update. It is Thursday, May 2nd at approximately 11.20 p.m. and I'm just realizing that I forgot to turn over to the news. I've been watching um, some YouTube videos. I'm currently watching Vana the Twisted Stitcher talking about some of her um, projects that she has on stash but she's never started including the Amish Life or uh, Amid Amish Life and I've kind of encouraged her to start Amid Amish Life because I met her at my um, first stitching retreat last year. Camp got a stitch coming up in November and I had the chance to talk to her and I was actually working on my Amid Amish Life um, at camp. But um, the main reason why I'm coming to you tonight um, I don't know if you can hear them. I, I don't know if it, if the video is going to be able to pick this up or not. But um, my husband and I have a swimming pool in our backyard. And we haven't used, it's an above ground swimming pool. One of the metal frame ones. It, one of the Intech metal, Intex or Intech metal frame ones. We haven't used it in about three or four years. Because um, it was just too hard to keep the chlorinator um going uh it would trip the circuit breaker in our house and then it we wouldn't notice that it would trip the circuit breaker until like several hours later and by the time you would hook it back up to start rechlorinating the pool we had a salt chlorination system um it was just the pool is just really icky so we haven't used the pool in about three or four years and um the lining in the we need to replace the lining in the pool anyway but um the water that's in it is kind of stagnant and we have frogs in our swimming pool and they're quite noisy. Um, we had them last year. We have them again this year. Um, there's at least four of them in there. I think they're spring peepers. But they're pretty noisy. Um, but uh, I decided after my little video snippet that I was going to work on May. Um, and a frog came to visit me. I had some of the basket here um, worked on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see where I pulled the stitches. Yeah, you can kind of see where I pulled some of the stitches. 
right up in this area here. Um, I ended up pulling the stitches. I had a frog visit me on the inside. Not a happy frog, but I'm in the process of restitching um, the stuff that I had stitched beforehand, and I might actually get to some of the stitching. I decided not to wait until Saturday to work on this. I figured I would work on it tonight because if I don't finish, I can finish on Saturday. But uh, I was going to um, go through and kit up some of my diamonds for one of my diamond paintings, but I just kind of figured, eh, I'm sitting here. I kind of don't really do what, want to hold, want to do a whole lot of like maneuvering around and get, digging stuff out and then having to put stuff away. So, um, anyway, <laughs> the frog is here in Columbus, Ohio. So, you know, I'm getting ready to kick him out. <laughs> he's, he's overstayed his non-welcome, um, so, yeah, the frog's here in Columbus, Ohio. So, anybody here in Columbus, Ohio, you better watch out because the frog's coming to visit. Um, but I'm ready to ship him on his merry way. Get him out of my house, all right? So, anyway, I'm going back to my um, hands-on design, Year of Celebrations May pattern tonight for the rest of the night. Um, I finished up my juice. That's all I got left. Probably going to fill it with, a, with some water, get more, get rehydrated again and um, continue working on this for tonight, try and get at least some of the stuff back that I had. I don't have too much farther to go to redo the stuff I had before I started stitching, and I got I got a chunk done tonight, so hopefully I'll get this done. Um, anyway, that's what I've got, so a little quick update for you. All right, I'm sending the frog on his way, so the next one in line, better be ready. <laughs> Put out your welcome mat or not. Lock your doors. Because the frog is coming. All right. See you soon. Bye. Hi there, everybody in, in Floss 2 Bland. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Friday, May 3rd at approximately 1127 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you with um, kind of a final update for this video log installment of my... Um, floss tube videos. So, um, you know, my husband and I, we kind of had a bit of a date night, Friday night tonight. We attempted to go to a wine tasting at a place that normally had wine tastings on Friday nights, only to find out that they now only hold them the second Friday of every month. So we missed out on our wine tasting. So we ended up getting um, a crackers and cheese thing and a little bit of stuff off their olive bar and we went and purchased a glass of wine at their bar and sat and ate that and then we went to dinner and then we went to half price books we went to actually two half price books one before dinner and one after dinner and then we got ice cream and came home so i have a little bit of haul from half price books to show you and also um my picture of this plus fabric of the month shipment came in today from annie's um this is Crazy Annie Stitching, um, the picture of this plus fabric of the month. Um, I don't care if you see this address on here. This is my husband's work address, so it's not my address. So that that is really cool. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open my Crazy Annie's Picture This Plus Fabric of the Month Club shipment. I get actually two pieces of uh, 28 Count Lugana from them every month. Um, so opening opening the package this is what we've got so she usually puts in a little free uh, pattern of sorts um, this is a really cute pattern oh this is neat this is called four fat friends um, it's 57 stitches by 42 stitches this is kind of the pattern it um, is by compliments of drawn thread and it uses weeks dye works um, four colors a weeks dye works um, it's a little tree with a, four little birds underneath it. It's really cute. That is the free pattern from Crazy Any Stitching. Um, so here's the fabric of the month uh, card that comes with the thing and the information about the fabric of the month club. Oh my god, look at this. All right. So this is called Discord. This first one is called Discord. Oh my god, you guys. I might actually have to switch. I haven't started the um, s s Witchy Stitcher um, uh, Universal Monster Stitch Along yet. I may actually have to swap my fabric out 
Okay, so this is a 28 count Lugana, 18 by 27. In the picture of this plus fabric, Discord is the color. It's Discord. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of wine purple color. Oh my God. This is so gorgeous, you guys. Oh, this, the color in here, it looks brown in the camera. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. I may actually be swapping the fabric out. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. Oh my God, I am like totally in love with this now. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. All right, well, I may have a different piece of fabric for my um, <laughs> uh, Universal Monster, Monster Stitch Along. So I'm going to actually have to floss toss this one um, and uh, see if I like this. But what is going on here? Oh, I, I, think, I guess it would help if I folded it. Right. All right, so it goes this way. Pull that down comes down like this, comes in like this, and then gets folded down like this. So this is picture this plus discord. Oh my god. This is gorgeous fabric, you guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word. <coughs> oh my word. All right. So this next one looks kind of gray green. Oh, well, that would that would explain it. Um, tonight in Columbus, it is really foggy. The next the next piece of fabric from Picture This Plus is called fog. How uh, fitting for tonight. But yeah, we're getting some dense fog here in Columbus this this week. So this is Picture This Plus fabric, twenty eight count Lugana, eighteen by twenty seven in fog. This is kind of a nice little gray. There's some modeling to it. It almost, in this light, it almost looks very green. Let me see. Um, it's kind of a greenish. It's kind of greenish, actually. It's not really a gray. It's kind of green. You're not going to be able to see it that way. But, uh, yeah. There's some modeling to it, but it looks kind of green. This is really pretty, you guys. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my word. So this is really pretty too. I like this a lot. Fog. Picture this plus. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm impressed with this. Uh, I'm impressed with this shipment this month. Very impressed. I uh, like both of these colors a whole lot. So that is my Annie's crazy, crazy Annie stitching. Um, Picture this plus fabric of the month and my uh, one bag for fog just fell on the floor. All right. <clears throat> so my husband and I, we were actually in, um, we went to two half price books, once, one before dinner, and then we drove over to another one after dinner tonight just to kind of look around for something to do. And then we ended up at Grater's for ice cream afterwards. But while I was at uh, half price books, now um, this, I got, one thing, one cross-stitch related thing at the second half price books, but the um, the first half price books, I got this stack of cross-stitching magazines, and um, so I will actually show you show you what I got. This first one, I don't think I've seen this before, but this is called Classic Stitches. I got this for fifty cents. You can see there, I got it for fifty cents. Um, Classic Stitches. There's some cute little patterns in here. Um, that I thought were kind of neat, but for 50 cents, I just picked up the whole thing. Now there's this countdown to Christmas. It's kind of like an advent calendar. The first 12 are in this magazine, but you can see there's all kinds of different motifs. So we have the first 12 in this magazine. I think it's the top ones that I have. This is kind of a bummer because I'd actually like to have like, you know, the church and the house and stuff like that. So I may actually have to find the other, the other, um, the other the next issue but this is um classic stitches number 52 retails in the u.s for nine dollars and fifty cents i got it at half price books for fifty cents um classic stitches.com so i'll have to go to classic stitches.com to see if i can get this i don't even know if this magazine is still in print um 
luckily for the person who was receiving this or who got this, they either purchased this from somewhere, got it online, got it at a bookstore or whatever, but there is no um, shipping label for this person. Usually they cover that information up at Half Price Books. So if anybody knows how to get um, classic stitches, no, probably number 53, um, let me know because I'd really like to get those other 12 motifs that are in this magazine um, for that. But yeah, there's just some, some cute things. I mean, it's got like seahorse, like a seahorse template and um, just some other stuff, transfer sheets. This one I thought was really neat too. You know, my husband and I like um, Asian motifs. So you have Kyoto snow. Um, this might actually make a really interesting diamond painting. And it's um, looking at this piece really quick, the pattern for it. I'm not going to show you the pattern, but looking at this, it's a uh, full coverage. It is a full coverage piece. And um could very easily translate into diamond painting. Um although I'm not sure what that anchor wool. So it's charted for anchor wool. But uh you could probably convert the anchor into something else, into some other stuff. But yeah, I mean, you know, I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, so there's that one. Yeah, for 50 cents though, you know, you can't beat it. Then there was this uh, beach time clock. This beach time clock is really cute. I thought that was just really neat too. For 50 cents, yeah, you know, you can't beat it. So I'll be looking for the um, the other the next issue of that. There's just some other interesting articles and different stitching techniques and stuff like that because it um you know like it talks about g pumpkins and gourds you know how to decorate them i mean there's just different stuff in here that you can use so um yeah oh, one of the other things that i thought was cute too there's um a pattern in here for um a cc a cc leaves and here's the um Here's the stitch part, the pillow, the CC leaves. That is really neat. There's a lot of back stitch in that, but you know it's it's really kind of pretty. So um, I figured for fifty cents, what the, why the heck not? I just I just pick it up. All right. So the next one I got, um, these next two, uh, well this this next one I actually haven't heard of this, but this is a classic cross stitch needle arts collection by Hirschner's. It's a little um, magazine publication by Hirschner's. It has the Sunday on the front of it. This is the August-September 1989 version. Is that what that says? 1989. Right there. 1989. This was the year I graduated from high school. I wasn't stitching back then. I didn't start stitching until late fall 1989. Early 1990. So, yeah. A cute, real cute ice cream sundae pattern. It was a really cute ice cream sundae. Um, you know, I got this magazine again for 50 cents. So, um, some elephants, a little Bo Peep, uh, nursery run heirloom series comes, little Bo Peep. Um, not exactly my aesthetic. There was a different aesthetic back in the 19... 80s. Um, two Christmas stockings, one for a boy with a little train set in the, on the toe and one for a girl with a little dollhouse on the toe. Um, trying to see if this is the one. Oh, <laughs> so um, I thought this cat one is cute and I know I, there's somebody here that I think would like this, but this cat... This cat was really, really cute. Look at this sleeping cat, you guys. That cat is adorable. So, yeah, I'm covering up the pattern so you can't see it. And you can't. But that cat is adorable. I'm probably going to end up stitching that cat. But for 50 cents, you know, hey. I got a pretty good bargain on all of these magazines. All of these magazines were only 50 cents. My half price books. Uh, Ultimate Stitcher Showcase. Um, it looks like candle wicking. If you know what candle wicking is, um, all one color. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot in here besides the ice cream, the ice cream sundae. And uh, that might have been the inspiration for us going to Grader's Ice Cream. <coughs> so 
so this next magazine is one that I've heard of before. It's called Cross Quick. And I think I actually have a couple of these um, issues, a couple of issues of this magazine in my stash. This one is the um, December, January 1989. Yep. December, January 1989. Cross Quick. It has the same similar back to like the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazines, you know, like the bobbin ads. Um, so yeah, we have the fish, the fish on the front, um, that's a big piece in here. Um, watch bands, the watch bands are actually really cool, I kind of like this plaid one here. Um, so we have watch bands, or borders, this rabbit, this rabbit picture is really stinking adorable. I love this rabbit. That rabbit is too cute. So yeah, I, I, I probably will keep this for the rabbit and stitch the rabbit at some point in time. Really cute rabbit. Um, mugs. There's mugs. Mug patterns for cross-stitched mugs. Um, let's see here. Gooses or geese. <coughs> placemats. And I thought these were kind of cute. These look like, I think they're made with perforated paper. Um, little picture box kind of ornaments. Little 3D box ornaments. I thought those were cute. So I'm going to have to look at uh, trying something like that this Christmas. Um, and then here is a thing of a bunch of Santas. It's the International Santas. These are... Um, Designed by Robin Clark, um, which are designed um, based on Clement Seymour's The Night Before Christmas. Um, so these are designed by Robin Clark. So these are just several Santas. There's like five or six different ones here. Five or six different ones. Don't mind the card in the middle. But there's just some Santas. For you, I thought the Santas were really cute, <coughs> and I believe that's it for this magazine. This issue of the magazine, yeah, that'd be it. So this one, you know, you have the um, you have the rabbit. I think the rabbit was in this one, um, and a couple other things like the the picture box ornaments and stuff. That was really cute. So then the last um, last three magazines that I got were all cross stitch and country craft magazines. There's three different issues here. Um, this, let me see, see if I can, see if I can tell you the issues that we got. Oh, no, it's going to rip. So, this is a March, April 1987, I believe, this first one. Uh, March 1987. This is March and April 1987. Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. I know I already have this in my stash. I'm going to actually keep it in my stash, partly because I ripped I ripped the cover on it. But um, those of you that have been following several people um, know that there's several people stitching the Amid Amish Life patterns. And this March, March, April 1987 issue has the first installment of the Amid Amish Life. So I actually now have a second issue with the Amid Amish Life, the beginning of the Amid Amish Life. Um, you know I'm, I'm stitching this, and I'm going to be pulling it out here soon to work on it some more. But this is actually the panel that I am stitching on. Those of you that know, um, that have seen my things, or seen my updates, have seen that I have like the, all the background, like hills and fields and stuff, and this quilt done. And I'm kind of working on the house a little bit and doing some stuff over in here in the house. Um, so I have another issue of the March, April 1987 Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine that has the beginning installment of A Mid Amish Life. Um, there's a couple other things in here that might be kind of cute. You know, Mother's Day is coming up in a week. There's stuff in here for mom. So yeah, I have another issue. And, um, I'd really like to find the other two, another copy of the other two, so I have kind of a, 
unused, unbent, you know, uncreased copy, because I do have my three copies of this magazine in my Admit Amish Live project. Um, if I could actually find the leaflet that was published for this, I would actually kind of rather have the leaflet than the three magazines, and then I can, you know, kind of pass along the three magazines if I get a copy of the leaflet. Um, but I'd also like to kind of compare the leaflet to what was printed in the magazines just to see if there were any changes made. So anyway, I have the March, April 1987 Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine. This is the one with the first installment of a mid Amish life in it, just to let you know, you guys. So I got that for 50 cents tonight. Then I picked up the November, December 1988 issue cross stitch and country crafts i think i might actually have this one in my stash as well it's 50 cents though so you know i didn't i didn't shell out all kinds of money for it um so in this one um this has a santa santa sampler it has the plate on the front cover um which is the nativity scene um let's see oh these were really cute uh 3d like christmas trees using perforated paper um, and hearts, little wreath hearts. I thought those were cute. I'm going to actually stitch those too. Um, and new techniques for needlework finishers. Just different things you can do. It's just some information about different things you can do, how to finish your needlework and ornaments as ornaments and stuff like that. Um, a holy Bible cover. Um, a hen sitting on her thing of eggs um those of you into country motifs it's a hen sitting on some eggs um we have it looks like apples uh and then we oh. so contest winners these these are the contest winners for the ornaments um for 1988 so I am actually going to be looking to see if the door is in here, the red door, because um, I kind of want to do that. I know for sure this one's in here because I'm looking at it on this other side back here. And I would like to see if that one's in here as well. So I'm going to actually have to look. Um, oh, and the window, the candle. Look at the candle in the window, you guys. It's the candle in the window. That's really pretty. All right, so let me see. No, they're not in here. Oh my goodness. All right. That's kind of crazy. So I don't know how we can get a copy of those ornaments, but those ornaments are really cute. Um, if anybody knows how to get a copy of the 1988 ornament winners, I'm specifically looking for this doorway, this doorway, the candle in the window. If anybody knows where I can get a copy of those patterns or if you know where those patterns are from, Please let me know. I'd really like to know. I have this one up here in the corner. It's on this other page back here. Um, but I don't have the patterns for the other ones. That really kind of sucks. This um, Santa's. Oh, these were cute too. Um, oh my goodness. Those are cute. The little Eskimo people and the snowmen. Oh my goodness. This one's cute. So we have the pattern for this one too. I really like that. It's the little Eskimo children with snowmen that is so cute so that's in here um and then we have a bunch of santas well there's the santa so we have some santas in here and some apple patterns but yeah i don't see i don't see where the other ornaments are from that oh and some star ornaments in the very back cover so yeah we have that very cute um, but anyway, if anybody knows where I can get the patterns for the star ornament, the ornaments, the contest winner ornaments from the December 1988 Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine, please let me know. I would be interested in getting those patterns. And then the last issue of the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine that I picked up was from uh, March, March and April 1988. It has the sailor doll on the front of it. And the faces on the dolls are stitched, you guys. The faces on the dolls are stitched, which are why they are in, they're in this magazine. <clears throat> Again, I don't know for sure if I have already have this issue. 
but uh, Mother's Day patterns in here. Um, I thought this one was really pretty. This is a uh, variegated floss. Um, they give you techniques on how to stitch with variegated floss. Um, but they have this really pretty sampler that's in here using variegated floss. That is really pretty. Um, the camera is not picking it up really well, but it's a sampler. And um, they give you they give you like basic instructions on how to uh, stitch with variegated floss. Um, but yeah, that sampler's in here. You have the pineapple welcome door hanger. Um, not exactly my motif, but you know, you have a little gate, a little, um, gate scene that you can stitch. It looks like it was part of three for a garden scene. Um, this little bunny was cute. Little bunny kind of holding an Easter egg right there. Again, you're not going to be able to see this lighting isn't exactly great in here right now. But uh, let's see what else What else you can you find in here. This is the March, April 1988. Uh, bread basket or bread covers. Um, the sewing basket. This is a sewing sampler. This is a sewing sampler. And then you have like the bread baskets. Covers, the bread covers. <clears throat> oh, this is cute too. Is this in here? Yes, it is. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, you stitched the. Oh, this is cool, you guys. Um, so there was um, I forget. It's like some sort of Christmas scene where you you stitch the window on the outside and then you stitch the Christmas tree on the background and you cut out the window around around the stitching and you kind of separate them with the Christmas tree the Christmas tree behind and then you have the window up in front so the windows you're looking through the window at the Christmas tree in the background this is kind of like that and this is a cat sitting in front of a window looking outside I'll show you that but yeah it's basically so you like stitch the cat in the window and the window frame and the curtain and everything on one piece of fabric. You cut out the holes for the window and then you stitch the background on a different piece of fabric. That is really cute, you guys. It's a little cat in front of a in front of a window. Yeah, I might actually just have to stitch that one too. That's actually really cute. Then there's a couple of borders um, and pins and button covers. Bows, buttons, and belts. Um, and there's the cat the rabbit. So yeah, this one has some neat things. Um, I'll cover this up. But uh, here's Merry Mini Banners to kind of cover that up because that has the, the angel in there. Merry Mini Merry Mini Banners. So yeah. This one's really cute. This is the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. March, April 1988. Kind of glad I have this in my stash. Um, so yeah, those were the magazines that I got. Um, at the first half price books then at the second half price books this was kind of back in their clearance magazine section as well they had 50 animal music makers I thought these were adorable you guys there's teddy bears and mice and piggies and cats and hippos raccoons and rabbits look at all these these are just really cute you guys Look at those. Just really cute. And there's more on the back. There's teddy bears. More rabbits. It looks like a fox, an owl. Yeah. These are really cute. And a couple of doggies. Doggies. Look at those. And it, this retails for $5.95, you guys. Or eight seventy five in Canada. I got it for $0.50. Cents. Half price books. See, look. $0.50, cents, half price books. Is there any other pictures in here? Is it no? It's all shown on the on the outside. This is by Linda Gillum or Gillum, Gilliam, whatever. Fifty animal music makers. Thought these were cute, so I got that too. I just figured I'd add it to my stash. Don't know if I'll ever stitch anything out of it, but it's fifty cents. I'm not worried about it.
All right. So, after I made my last video last night, you guys, um, I think I... I'm trying to get my foot away from the uh, um, table that my laptop's on so I can stretch out a little bit. Um, so, anyway, I've been working on the Hands-On Design Year of Celebration May Little Square. And I was hoping to kind of finish it last night. I got a little too tired, but I'm going to take it to my local needle workshop tomorrow for the stitch in from one to five. It's at Cross My Heart here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, if you guys are on Facebook or whatnot and you happen to be kind of near the Columbus area and can make it to Columbus tomorrow on Saturday to stitch for a derby day stitching bring your floppy f big hats because i'm gonna i'm hopefully gonna dig one out in my closet and i'm gonna go stitch for about four hours tomorrow i'm looking forward to it haven't been to the crossroads store in a little bit have a little bit of stuff to pick up from the store they have some um weeks dye works and general arts threads in for me that i ordered so um i'm gonna also probably pay next installment for camp goddess stitch in november and um yeah yeah that's kind of all I have for you tonight for um, a stitching update. That was 30 minutes. So by the time I link all these other videos together, um, I think I'm going to have a nice little video log for you. T but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try and string those together tonight and get it uploaded for you. And then um, tomorrow, if I take any pictures or do any videos or, you know, do anything at the um, Derby Day Stitch in at Cross My Heart tomorrow, um, I will probably put that information and video and whatever I happen to do um, and how much progress I get done and what I'm working on at the Stitch Group on, oh, excuse me, the next installment. So anyway, that's all I have for you this week. Um, I hope you guys have, have had a good Stitchy week. I hope you guys are enjoying Stitch Mania. Um, I still haven't 100% decided if I'm going to dig out that Teresa Wensler thing and make that my Stitch Mania this year. But uh, I'm considering pulling out my Teresa Wensler fantasy triptych and working on it and seeing how much project progress I can get on it this month. I don't know. Um, you know, that may not be my mania. I may just sit and stitch as usual on some of my whips and just not really track it and not really worry about mania because I really didn't say that I was going to sign up for mania. But, you know, I guess everybody does mania whether or not they say they're doing mania anyway because, you know, it's all... It, you make mania what you want. And uh, I never really did much. I really haven't kept up with doing any of the School of Magical Stitches homework, so I've been a very bad student. Uh, sorry, House Helpful Puff. <laughs> I just, yeah, life. Um, and I just, you know, I just, I don't know, it seemed like a lot of work to keep up with the School of Magical Stitches homework, so I just didn't do it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all I got. Um, the Universal Monster Cell kicked off this last week. I actually haven't started yet. Um, the Opera, uh, Phantom of the Opera room is the first room. And the skeleton, the skeleton of the house is out as well. Um, I still haven't started yet, mainly because I wasn't sold on using Splash. But now that I got Discord in from Picture This Plus, I'm going to have to refloss toss and figure out which one of those two I like better. So we shall see what I end up doing. And then I will post progress if and when I get started this week. So anyway, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you have a, you've had a good stitchy week. I'm hoping to have a better stitchy weekend. And um, there's a, I think there's a Diamond Paint-a-thon uh, yeah, Diamond Paintathon is going on this weekend. It starts tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and goes until like 9 p.m. Sunday night, something like that. And every two hours, a new uh, diamond painting uh, YouTuber is slated to start another live video. And they usually have a charity going on um, where you can donate money during their live video to whatever charity they've chosen, stuff like that. And it's basically just a, a diamond paint and chat live video where they you know they have a project sitting out that they're working on or not working on because it's live and they like to they like to chat and respond um but uh yeah it goes on this weekend oh and of course tomorrow is may the 4th be with you unfortunately we lost peter mayhew the actor who played chewbacca um yesterday 
so we have that little bit of sadness going on. Um, so may the 4th be with you. Uh, happy May the 4th, you guys. And um, it's also Kentucky Derby Day. Um, you know, if you're if you're watching the Kentucky Derby, wear your floppy hat and drink a mint julep. Um, I'm going to be stitching at my cross stitch store at my local needle workshop. And um, what's going on Sunday? Oh, Sunday is Cinco de Mayo. Um, <laughs> so, you know, have have some tacos and have some margaritas. Hopefully that's what we're going to do. But um, other than that, yeah, don't really have much going on. And I'm not really sure when my next video will be up and if it will include... Um, derby stitching at my local needle workshop cross my heart tomorrow um it kind of depends on what i take and how many pictures i take if i take any videos um you know what i show you at, at least nothing else you'll see the um the stash haul you know some of the uh uh weeks i works and gas threads that i pick up and stuff so anyway um that's all i have for you now just keep on keeping on because that's all we can do and until next time happy stitching everybody happy mania and uh take care we'll see you soon bye